Florida rapper Julio Fulio, probably most famous for recording a diss song at one of his op's grave sites, had his life taken from him early this morning in Tampa, Florida, about three hours from his home of Jacksonville, Florida. Around 4.40 this morning, we received a 911 call about thing that happened here in the parking lot behind me on McKinley and Fowler. What we have learned, and again, this is all very early in the investigation, is that two cars were shot at. Four people were shot in total as a result of this. Three of them were transported to hospitals and one was pronounced deceased here on the scene. So we are working to learn what led up to being motive. You can see behind me, a lot of officers are here. They are talking with witnesses. They are looking for video as it pertains to being. As far as the people that are at local hospitals, we are working to get an update on their condition. It seems like they will survive their injuries, but again, that's very early in the investigation. Before we dive into it, let me give you a little backstory. Jacksonville is off the chain. Jacksonville is one of the most dangerous cities in America. Unfortunately, there has been a war on the streets between two factions that have claimed many lives. On one side, you have Julio Fulio and his boys. On the other side, you have Youngin Ace and his guys. Songs and music videos by popular rappers of these factions dissing the fallen ops were released on both sides. I follow this beef rather closely. I'm even responsible for playing one of the songs, shit about 150 times, called Who I Smoke, where Young and Ace and his boys detailed body after body on record, bragging about, quote, up in the score on the other team. But back to this morning. Julio Fulio was celebrating his birthday with a bunch of his friends. The pool party start the day at 5, 6 o'clock. You already got the address to pull up, man. You got the address to pull up. If you need the address, DM me right now. The pool party start at 5, 6 o'clock. DM me for the address of DM Fulio Bookie ESPN. I'm going to put it right here. We just got her, bro. You got to add it. You got to add it, man. Push up. We just got to do Tampa, Florida, man. You got already got to add it to the pool party. Push up at 530, man. Push up at 530, man. We finna get that thing right. Push up at 536 o'clock, man. The party then moved to a local Holiday Inn motel. That is where, allegedly, Fulio took his last breath. Me drinking, cuz. I don't need drink, cuz. Oh. <laughs> you supposed to have a chaser. Mm -mm. <laughs> some are saying it was a setup by some of the females in attendance. Appreciate everybody popping out for my birthday, you know what I'm saying? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Everybody got their shot, put their shot. Yeah, about to take this shit on three, man. One, two, three. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure we will all soon know. This is the Holiday Inn Hotel right across the street from USF, the Tampa campus. We just spoke with police officials who tell us that four people were here in the parking lot, and one of those people right here on the scene. The other three people are currently at the hospital. Now, police say they received a one called to McKinley and Fowler Avenue around 440 this morning. They say that they were told four people were shot again, three of them transported to the hospitals, one on the scene. They believe that those three other people will survive. Now they're trying to find out what led up. What was the motive? They're looking for video. They're looking for any surveillance cameras outside this hotel or maybe any guests that maybe saw or heard what happened. They're trying to interview any witnesses. They're out here trying to find out how many suspects they're looking for. And then again, to get that suspect or suspects in custody. They said that it seems like those people who were involved 
evening were coming to this hotel to get a room. It's unclear whether they were staying at this Holiday Inn. I did find it rather eerie that this morning when I got in my car and turned on my Pandora, the first song that played was a great song by Lil Wayne and Kendrick Lamar called Mona Lisa. Ironically, Mona Lisa is a song about a popular rapper getting set up by a female he trusted. Very strange that happened. But anyway, enough of my Twilight Zone BS. Fulio's death is unfortunately another reminder that when you play with the devil, he just might come looking for you next. A lot of this music that this kid was putting out was pure evil. I'm sure as we speak right now, though, diss songs are being created from the other side and they will soon be released on YouTube for our viewing pleasure. Another sad situation. Be careful, kids, with the energy you put out there. Please. I'll take a couple of questions for what I can't say. Judy, were these guests at the hotel, do you know, that were staying here with some kind of beef or rivalry? Is that it? At this point, it's part of the investigation, but it seems that they might have been coming here to the hotel to get a room. Can you say anything about um, the, the, the guests that were staying in the hotel? Did they have to be evacuated or they were like, were they told to stay in place after, after the incident this morning? Part of the investigation, I don't think so because of what time it happened. At this point, you know, guests are waking up and we're updating them and we are assisting them with anything that they need assistance with at this time. But it didn't happen inside the hotel. It was uh, in the parking lot. And so, do you know how many suspects there were? How many people had to Part of the investigation, we're hoping to be able to figure that part out as well as get a description of the suspects so that we can get that information out to you but I can tell you that there are cameras here and our officers are working to view all of the cameras and talk with people you know who might have seen anything or heard anything and I think that's the biggest thing at this point you know we always say it but in cases like this it really does make the difference if you saw something if you heard something any little detail can help us figure out what happened here this morning hit that like button Please do smash it right now if you don't mind. Just smash that like button one time for your boy. That really helps out my algorithm. That helps get the word out there that I exist. So please do. Just do that, you know, light little favor for your boy. Also, please hit that subscribe button if this is your first time joining the channel and you're entertained by what you hear. Please do hit that subscribe button. And check out some of my videos on my channel. I do interviews, I do commentary pieces like this. I do a lot of stuff, man. I'm just trying to really get my word out there. And the way you can help is by subscribing and definitely spreading the word about Dusty Vision TV. Please do check out my second channel as well right here on YouTube. It's Dusty Vision Radio. That bad boy is almost at 3,000 subscribers there. So I'm really trying to blow that one up. So please do subscribe to my second channel, Dusty Vision Radio. It's more hip hop based. I do a lot more hip hop stuff over there, play some rare West Coast music. So go on over there, check out Dusty Vision Radio and see if you like it. If you do, please do hit that subscribe button. I'm also on Rumble. If you don't mind subscribing to your boy on Rumble. You guys have probably been hearing a lot about Rumble lately. Rumble is the new app. They're blowing up. It's a lot. It's a, it's a more uncensored platform over there. You can say almost what you want without getting your hands smacked all the time. Kind of like YouTube does. You know, so definitely check me out on Rumble. Go download the Rumble app if you haven't already. That's R-U-M-B-L-E, R-U-M-B-L-E, and subscribe to Dusty Vision TV. That's all one word. I'm also on Instagram, Dusty Vision Radio, and I'm on Facebook as well, Dusty Vision TV. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.